Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to reveal content on Hover with expanding corner tabs in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Now you can give this name whatever you want. And also this technique that I'm using right here can be used on an existing page. So it doesn't have to be built from scratch. Right, so uh, I'm just going to call this demo, use Divi Builder. I like designing this using the front end editor. So that's what we're going to do here. Next, I'm going to click on build from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And the column structure we're going to need are these two equal columns here. Okay, I'm just going to close this for now. And then I'm going to go into my row settings. Now, what I need to do here in my row settings is to set my gutter width. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to design, sizing. And then I'm going to select use custom gutter width. Okay, let's set this to four. Now, the gutter width is pretty much the space between the columns. So just it's better to just set it to four. All right, so pretty much that's all I need to do. I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button, and add a blurb module. So I'm just going to type in the first few letters here and add it. All right, so that's my blurb module there. Now, what we need to do is to go into the column settings. So I'm going to save this, and then I'm going to go into my row settings and go into my first column here. So what I need to do here is to add an image to the background. So I'm going to click here on background and then I'm going to click on my third tab and add my image. Now, in your case, you can use pretty much any image that you want. So it doesn't have to be an image of these uh, bottles. And uh, the size I'm using here, by the way, is 128 by 359. So it could be any type of image. It doesn't have to be this bottle of beer, I think. All right, so I'm going to click upload an image. Now, you can see here that the image is pixelated there in the background. So what we need to do is to uh, make sure that we are using the actual size of the image. So I'm going to click here on this bottom side, bottom thing and choose actual size. So now it's looking much better. So one thing to uh, note here as well is this image here has a transparent background. So that's just something that I need to uh, let you know so that you may be seeing some different results as you're designing this. All right. So what we're going to do next is so we're going to come over here to design and click on border because what we're going to do here is we're going to add some rounded corners to our border and we're going to set this to 10 and the border width is going to be two. Right. And then we also need to add the border color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors or if you want to follow this step by step, I'm going to leave a link in the post in the show notes below. Now, here you can see I've added my border pretty much across the whole design. So what you can also do here is to add the border to specific sides. So, for example, let's say you want to add your border to the right you can just come over here, set it to two. And let's say the next one is going to be the bottom. Again, you can set it to two. And then you can go to the icon that shows all the borders and reduce it to zero. So this is what it would look like. Now let's head over to the advanced tab and click on custom CSS. Now here on custom CSS, we need to add the CSS code on the main element. So I'm going to come over here and add my CSS code. Now, if you want to use the exact same snippet here, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so next we need to add our overflow. So what we need to do is to head over to our horizontal overflow. So we need to click on visibility. And then we just need to make sure that our horizontal overflow is set to hidden. And also our vertical is set to hidden. So with that all set, all we have to do now is to save this, save it one more time, and then I'm going to go back into my module and make all my settings. So I'm going to click here and let's start here with the title. So my title here is going to be Mango IPA. And for the body text, I'm just going to add some text here. But of course, in your case, you can add whatever text that you need for the description. All right. So now that I've added my uh, text here, this is pretty much my description text, which summarizes what this drink is about. OK, so now that I've added that, we need to continue to design this blurb. So what we're going to do here is going to go to the background, 
come all the way down here. So for the background color, we are going to have this transparent, but we're also going to add a hover state. So to add a hover state, I'm gonna click on this arrow that's pointing up. Click on the hover tab. Now, the color I'm gonna add here is going to have some transparency. So for me to do that or to add that, I just need to make sure that this slider right here is uh, pretty much somewhere in the middle here so we can get our values for our RGBA. So I'm gonna paste my values in here and you can see there's a slight transparency there, but this is only going to show on hover. So this is how it is on normal and this is how it looks like on hover. Okay, right, so what we also need to do here is to add our image. So I'm gonna click here and add my image. So this is how this is gonna look like. Now let's continue on and what we're gonna do next now is to customize our design here in the design tab. So I'm gonna start off with the image and icon. So by default, it's set to the top. So ideally, I want it over here to the left. And now you can see here, it's right there on the top left. Now let's start adding all our fonts. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here with the title. So I'm gonna change this from default to Oswald. So I'm just gonna search for it and here it is. Now this font is free to use by the way. So you can go ahead and use it. It's a Google font. Make this all caps. And I'm also going to change my size here to 40 pixels. And I'm also going to make it semi bold. Go ahead and add that. Okay, great. Now moving on, I need also need to work on my body text. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and it'll take me directly to my settings. All right, so here we need to set this to semi bold. Now over here on the body text color, we're gonna do something very exciting here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make it transparent, okay? And then we are going to add a hover state and this is uh, where we're going to add a color to that body text. So the color here I'm going to add is going to be a dark gray. So I'm just gonna drag these sliders all the way up and just paste my values in here. So that's gonna be a really dark gray color. So you can see here on the desktop, I mean on the normal version, it's not gonna have anything on it. And then on the hover state, that's where we're gonna have the, uh, the description text. Okay, so looking good so far. Now let's continue on and adjust our image width. So to do that, I'm just gonna scroll down here and look for my image. All right, so we have our image width here and I'm gonna set this to 100 pixels. Now, while I'm here, I also want this to look great on uh, different devices. So I'm gonna come over here to this little icon, go into my tablet, and here we're gonna set it to 64, and also on the phone, it's gonna be 64. Okay, so pretty much that's all I need to do here with my image settings. Uh, so the next stage now is my content width, and we are going to set this to 100%. Next, we're also going to come over to our height, and set this to 100% as well. Now let's add some padding and give this some breathing space. So I'm gonna click here on spacing and our padding here is going to be in percentages. So let's add 15% to the top, 15% to the bottom. And notice what I've done here. I've just activated that chain. By activating that chain, it adds my value both to the top and the bottom. All right, so it's time now to add my left and right. So here we're going to uh, set it to 8%. Now let's head over to the border and here we're going to add some rounded corners and we're gonna set this to 20 pixels all around. And then we also go, we need to go into the hover state. And now making sure hover is selected, we are going to add 10 pixels, but to the top left alone. So uh, to achieve that, we need to break this chain and add our 10 pixels over here because we want it to show pretty much on the top left. Now for this to show, we need to add our color and also our size of the border. So we're gonna add it to the left and this is going to be two pixels. And we also need to have this, in fact, I might as well add my color here. I'm just gonna paste it here. And by the way, if you wanna use the exact same color, I'm gonna leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so I've got the left here. I'm gonna add my top one. Again, it's gonna be two. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm also going to add my color in here. Now, you know what, on the left border, we need to uh, make this four pixels. Yes, 
we need to make it four pixels and just make it slightly uh, thicker there on hover. So make sure as you're working on this, this is being added on the hover state. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I think this looks better <laughs> at two pixels. All right, so uh, moving on, what we're gonna do now is we're going to go into the transform options, okay? So this is where all the zooming in and zooming out is going to happen. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here. In fact, you know what? I'm in the hover state. I'm just gonna go back to the desktop here. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come all the way down here to my transform options, and I'm gonna start with this one here. So I'm gonna set this to 50, 50. And you can see now my bottom now has gone smaller in size. Now let's move on to the next one. And this one here is going to be the transform translate. And here we're also going to set this to, in fact, we need to break the chain for this one. Now the reason why I'm breaking the chain is because I don't want to have the same value on both axes. Okay, so this one here on the Y axis is going to be 50. And on the X axis, this needs to be 30%. Make sure you have the right values here. This needs to be 50%, by the way. And let me just double check here on the transform scale. Yes, yeah, so that's 50%. Right, so 50% here on the Y and 30% here on the X. Now, while we're here as well, we need to go to the origin and set our origin. And this needs to be all the way down here to the bottom, like that. So now we need to add our hover states. So to do that, yeah, I'm just gonna hover over here and click on this arrow pointing up and make sure you are on the hover state because it's important that all the changes we're going to make from this point onwards, you are doing them while the hover state is activated. So I'm gonna go back to my uh, very first uh, tab here and set this to 100%. Next, I'm gonna go to transform translate. I'm gonna set this to zero. And also on the bottom, I'm gonna set this to zero as well. So now it's filling in pretty much the whole space. Now, in order to flip the image blurb over the right size, adding an additional custom CSS will allow that to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go in and do that by coming over here to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and we are going to go into the blurb content. So I'm gonna scroll down here, and the CSS code I need to add is this one right here, direction R2L. And again, as I mentioned, this CSS code can be found in the link in the description below. So this is what is going to happen when you're in the hover state. So back over here on design, let me just go back to transform and switch between the two. So you can see here we have the name and then when you hover over it, this is what you get. Right, so let's save this and let's take a quick look and see how this is working. So I'm gonna save this, exit the visual builder and we're gonna test it. So you can see here when I hover over, we can see our image here. Pretty awesome. So if you wanna have two of these, all we have to do is to go in and um, pretty much duplicate what we've done here and then change the positioning. For us to have a similar design over here on the right, what we need to do is to go to our row settings, delete this one here that we have and then duplicate and have the exact same one that we've just finished designing. Next, we're gonna go into our column settings here and then this is where now we're going to update this and pretty much reverse what we have here. So for the column two settings, we need to go into our design tab and go to our border. And then over here, you can see we have our settings here on the left, I mean on the right. So we can go in and reverse this by just clicking on this one here, adding a zero to that, clicking on the left side, and adding two. Now our left border color pretty much is going to say the same, so we don't need to add anything on there. Now what, what we also need to do is to go to our rounded corners and we need to add 10 pixels to the bottom left. So I'm just gonna break this chain and just make sure I have my 10 pixels just on the bottom left, like that. Okay, so that's something that, uh, that I should have done here as well because we're not supposed to have the rounded corners there. But anyway, we can always go in and change that. All right, so now that I have all this set, uh, what we're gonna do next is to update the blurb settings. All right, so I'm gonna save this, save this one more time, and then I'm just gonna click here and access my blurb settings. So for our text alignment, we can uh, set it to right. So let's go over here to the design tab, click on text and change our text alignment to right also need to go to our rounded corners 
So to do that, we're gonna come all the way down here to our border and uh, we're going to set 20 pixels over to the right. So I'm gonna break this chain and just set zero, zero, zero. So all I have is 20 to the right. And now let's go to the border styles. So for the border styles, I need to set this one here to the right. And we also need to set the size to four pixels. So next we need to go into the hover tab. And over here, we need to add our borders. So I'm gonna start by adding this one here to the right, set this to two pixels. We're also going to add our color. Now notice that all this is happening on the hover tab. So to add my color, I'm just gonna go in here and paste my color like that. And we also need this on the top. Set this to two pixels, change my color. Now let's head over to transform translate. So I'm just gonna make sure I just go back to my desktop tab here. So I'm gonna click here on transform. So the very first thing I need to do here is to reposition in transform translate by adding my negative margin. So to do that, I'm just going to come over here to the second tab, which is the transform translate, and then set this to minus 30. And then on the origin, we're gonna set this to the bottom left. So now you can see this is in the right position. So I'm just gonna save this for now. Okay, so now that we have this uh, all in place, in fact, you know what? I've missed something here. We need to go back in. So the next step is to come over here to the advanced custom CSS, and we need to remove this direction here on the CSS like that. We're gonna save this. now. You can see here, I have these two uh, pretty much similar products. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my, my images. So I'm gonna come over here and choose a different one. So I'm gonna click upload an image. And that's gonna be my, uh, my image right there. Then I'm gonna save. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because you don't wanna have the same image here because obviously you wanna have different products. So if you wanna add more of these uh, products and also with the animation and effect, you can duplicate this a few more times by coming over here like that. And now you have four, but it's up to you how, you how many you want to have in there. So pretty much this is the final result. When you hover over them, they're going to show the final item. So let me show you now what I've done and what you could also go in and do to stylize this design. So over here, we have our final design. So when I hover over here, you can see our image here is in the right place. And when you hover over it, we have a really cool effect. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.